come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. We're a movie review podcast that comes your way every Saturday night. We hope that you enjoy what you're listening to tonight. If you do, hey, do us a favor. Go on over to wherever you found us and give us a like, a star rating, or, or a review. We'll read that later during Igor's mailbag, that portion of our show, which is probably the the second best thing about the show you're going to listen to, right? Next to the wrap-ups, which you got to stick all the way through to the end to find out if we actually recommend tonight's movie. I don't know. Let us know what uh, what part of the show you like most. Oh, there you go. Why not? Mm-hmm. See, you can do this in the reviews. That you leave. us. Yeah. yeah. No. All of this well, stuff no, helps us. <laughs> Yeah, What's that? Just, <laughs> Sean said, "Rank us." I said, "Well, no, don't." don't <laughs> well, don't no, but if they if they comment, if they give us a review, it helps us rank up. So all that's really all you have to do, True. and we'll be found by more like minded folks like yourself. Mm-hmm. So thanks for listening uh, tonight. Oh, first of all, uh, who are these internet radio superstars? Holly, Sean, Michaela, and I'm Colin. And tonight we watched the movie that was chosen by Michaela. Uh, Michaela, what did we watch tonight? We watched Don't Open Till Christmas. Who's heard of this movie? Yeah, yeah. Show of hands. Pat yourself on the back if you've heard of it, because that means you're you're in the right parts of the internet if you've heard it. So good job. How did you hear about this yeah. movie? Um, so I was like I was every once in a while I'll Google like, you know, forgotten slasher movies or something like that. And you read those lists and to people like us most of the time it's like a joke because we've seen all those that are quote unquote forgotten. Right. And then I came across an A V Club article about this movie. That like kind of talked about the plot briefly and like some of the kills. And when I read some of the kill descriptions, I was like, all right, we can check this out. <laughs> and then uh, I was like, oh, crap, you can't watch this anywhere because it's not available anywhere. Yeah, it came out. So it's a British slasher movie mm-hmm. yes. that came yep. out in the year 1984. And it came out, I think. I don't think it had a theatrical release in the States. Not that I can tell. It came out on Investor on Video. Mm-hmm. Ah. And uh I think, according to Wikipedia, it's we assume that the rights are currently in the public domain. <laughs> yep, Wikipedia says it is believed to be public domain right yeah. now because it's been put out on DVD by so many different companies. I guess at this point, but I was trying, yeah. I was looking into buying a DVD for our viewing purposes tonight, and like they're all used and they're kind of expensive for used, and like everyone's like the t- quality is like worse than a bootleg, so don't even worth, don't even buy it. So we don't know what the source was. We watched it on YouTube, it's but like, Apple Movies or Apple TV, whatever they oh, have iTunes, it for. Right. Yeah, they yeah. have it for rent. Hmm. So that was like literally the only streaming option I could find. So, so. somebody somewhere put it out. You mm-hmm. can watch it on YouTube with hard coded Greek subtitles, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. the quality is good though. So. Yeah. Um, so who? So it said it's from Sorry. 1984. Mm-hmm. It's a British slasher movie. Is it a slasher movie? Yeah. Okay. Yes. It is a slasher yes. movie. Yes. 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 Um, and it because uh, I remember if you remember we watched a movie not too long ago called Slaughter High. Yeah. We did. Yes. Well, that's what I was, yes, we did. And that's what I was wondering. Is, is this a? Uh, uh, when we're going into this, I was wondering if this was a slasher movie trying to be American or is it a British slasher movie? Why did you think that? Uh, just because we started out, um, uh, we started out in what looked like the cobbled streets of London uh, at the beginning of this movie. I'm just like, okay, are they? Is it supposed to be London or are we trying to be like, no, this is New York or this is supposed to be American? And, well, we wondered that because Slaughter High, being a British slasher movie, was supposed to be set in America. Very mm-hmm. much trying. That was from '86, which was disappointing to me. That they were trying to, yeah, because it took yeah. place on April Fool's Day, and they yeah. had some kind of weird British thing where like April Fool's Day thing. ended at noon. You just yeah. have to make it till noon, and then yeah. then it's all over. He'll stop chasing us. And I wanted it to be so much more British and. This time it happened. Oh, yeah, it was <laughs> wonderful. We got, it was... So is this the British slasher movie? It's so far. I mean, what else is its competition? You know, well, Slaughter like, yeah, High. I thought, it. like yeah, Slaughter no, High. Yeah. I thought we stumbled on something like, yeah. oh shit, like the because this was in the era of the video nasty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. So I don't think the British were making slasher movies. That was pretty much a, an American thing. Right. Yes. You know. Um, this does share some DNA with Slaughter High. Oh, yeah. Indeed. This is a Thank Dick Randall produced movie who mm-hmm. produced the mean? king of exploitation movies at this time. Uh, he produced Slaughter High, 
He also produced Pieces. Oh. Which we've also done on this show, so does that put Dick It, it does, I think yeah. so. Yeah. On the wall of fame. Um, he, he, like, literally any type of exploitation movie you can think of, black exploitation, uh, Bruce Lee exploitation, uh, you wow. know, ever, he's done them all. He's done a movie that I wrote down that I think we're going to have to cover on the Freak Show at some point. He produced a movie called The Clones of Bruce Lee. <gasps> <gasps> you are, sounds great. You are saying from 1980. Like. The Clones so, of Bruce Lee. Uh, I, like, the title's got me alone <laughs> on that one, so. yeah. Yeah. Um, yes. yes. Sometimes it's all you need. The dude has like eighty some producing credits of all movies like this. So and like, and there's a wealth of freak show stuff in his pornography. filmography. A lot. Yeah. There's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a lot of those like right. uh, prison girl type movies. There it is. Reform yeah. school movies. There's that whole sure. genre that. we have not fully like delved into the yeah. prison women movie. Like I said, literally yeah. any exploitation subgenre, he's produced a ton okay. of movies in it. So. It's actually right. We haven't done any women in prison. We, movies. And we haven't. We've. we've I don't uh, think I've seen it. Right. Well, okay. We'll have to. Yeah. We'll consider this for the topic. That feels like a summer future, series yeah. that we do. <laughs> that feels like a summer series. <laughs> well, Sean, in summer after he leaves the summer of sequels, it's this, women in prison right, movies. Right. This, oh, yeah. that's the a, summer of women in prison. That is that's, a new wave <laughs> in the freak show. If that happens, yeah, we haven't. We, it's come up a lot, and we have not like gone into it. So. Well, who uh, did we talk about? Uh, so, I mean, it was, uh, Dick Randall produced it. He also produced Pieces. Who's in this movie? Or who directed this movie? I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, th- three people directed this there movie. There we go. <laughs> okay. All Did right. Three people direct Slaughter High? <laughs> This might just be how I, they operate. There's, there's going to be some more tie-ins as I we go forward. So. Yeah, I'm pretty is sure. That just, is that just how it is in, in Great Britain? They're it like, might well, be. it's a three-act structure, so three directors, right? <laughs> yeah. Right, right? right? Yeah, one for each one. I'm going to bet, uh, we're going to get into this, I'm going to bet that Caroline Monroe was married to one of these directors. Yeah. I'm going to bet. Because Caroline is Monroe is in this movie. She has a cameo in this movie. She does. And, and she's, she's also in Slaughter High. Yep. She's married to one of the directors of Slaughter High. Yeah. Ah. Wait, can we look up, Does it, what is this? put her at in the on the wall uh like four like i said four or five i'll look it up yeah how many how many features have we covered with uh with the carolyn monroe I will, mm-hmm. I will look is she about to challenge sylvester stallone uh, for dominance she's, she's, she's still like out. two or three short of that i think yeah, yeah. i can fix that <laughs> i think I'm we sure could you can. there's hammer movies and we can yeah we can keep going. you could probably go through the dick randall filmography I and she intersects could. a lot there too i'm sure so who was the dir- the credited director in this movie? So there's three. There, uh, Edmund Purdom, who was also the star, Ian Harris. Uh, um, oh, okay. He yeah. said he would only star in the movie if he could direct it. This is his and, only directorial credit. Yeah. And they said, sure, fuck it, why well, not? Well, this guy, Edmund Purdom, I looked him up. Like, this He's guy a is time. a fascinating cat because he actually started uh, in Hollywood in like the 1940s or something like that. He was in a movie called The Egyptian. The Egyptian was originally supposed to have Marlon Brando in it. When Brando backed out, they said, who can we get to be the next Brando? And it was Edmund Purdom. Oh, really? (laughs) Yeah. But apparently at some point, even though that movie flopped, he tried to renegotiate his contract and the studio said, nah, it's too much. And he's like, fine, I quit. And they're like, okay. Okay. (laughs) And so that era is done. (laughs) And there went Edmund Purdom's Hollywood career. So where do you go when you don't have a Hollywood career? You go to Italy and you do That's where you always Italy go. Italian movies. So he became a voice actor on a lot of Italian films. So you've heard his voice in movies like The Perfume of the Lady in Black and The Fifth Chord and stuff like this. But right. he was also Those recognizable in, classics. <laughs> well, he was also in A Tour or a tour, The Fighting Eagle, which okay. we need to watch on yep. the show at some point, to 2019 after the fall of New York. Uh, all right. And, uh, oh, he was also a voice in What Have They Done to Your Daughters, mm-hmm. which is a sequel to What Have You Done to Solange? Uh, ah, that sounds familiar. Oh, yeah. Like Beyonce's sister? Yeah. This well, he was what also, I always think about, yes. Okay, yeah. <laughs> he was also in Pieces. He was the mm-hmm. dean. Yep. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. So there we go. We're tying this all back to pieces and slaughter high. It's a shared universe yeah, between those three so. movies. Uh, this gives Caroline Monroe her fifth. She's number credit. five. This is number okay. five. Her fifth credit for the Saturday Night Freak Show. Mm. So she's getting there. Better pencil her in. She's getting there. Okay. She is third, I think, at this point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll have to keep. Yeah. Well, well Peter we'll, Cushing's on there. Well, I, yeah, but we'll 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 keep doing it uh, after you know. Stallone, Jeffrey Combs. Cushing and then either Caroline Monroe or Cushing. I think so. Yeah. Um, Okay. So 
that brings us to like i mean i don't know zeitgeist wise like they're following american the slasher movie Mm -hmm. boom had pretty much run its course in america the brits are like well we got to get in on this slasher boom yeah we're what on our fourth or fifth friday the 13th this is the final chapter okay yeah this is also ironically the year of silent night deadly night uh, yes. That's interesting. Yeah, hmm. came out the same yes. year as this. Mm-hmm. So wait, we have we covered like most of the major Christmas set horror movies on this show? I think so. We did, Christmas, it's, did it's, we do Christmas Evil? We haven't done Christmas Evil. Okay. That may be that's the, the out, one, the outlier. But that's Jack Frost. I think we did Jack. Yeah, yeah Sean we did brought that. it. I yeah, well, that's I brought, the one with yeah. uh, Shannon uh, Elizabeth where she yes, screws yeah. in that. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yeah, oh yeah, we did Jack Frost. Yeah, we did. It, Jack. It, we, that was we drove some people away. We drove <laughs> no. some cast members away with no, that. that and the next Slay. one, Santa Slay. Yeah, Santa Slay. Oh, yeah. like, wait, that wait is that the one with uh, <laughs> Jeff Bill Goldberg? Bill Goldberg. Yeah. 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 Oh God, that yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was just before your introduction. Came. Yeah. <laughs> I regret nothing. <laughs> no, exactly. Yeah. It led, it led to better things. I want to say, I want to say one of the only ones we haven't is like the like really new new stuff like Better Watch Out. Yeah. Right. You know, yeah. we, uh, we, all we, the creatures we, are stirring. Yeah, cuz now did they we, have Did we do the new uh, Silent Night? No. No, we never did the well, new Silent Night. It's Malcolm McDowell in that. Silent? Yes, yeah, he's okay. in that. Yeah, we never did that one. No, and the yeah. original Black Christmas, but not the two thousand. We never right. did the remake. Yeah. Now you have to right. refer to. Well, now it's not the remake anymore. Oh, now it's two thousand six. We have to get oh. yeah, specific yeah. Now. Jesus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Well, going back to uh, I guess Edmund Purdom on this, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. he was the credited director mm-hmm. who started filming the movie and starring in it, and then he mm. quit. There were yes, yep. there were additional scenes written and directed by. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so who who took over? So Derek Ford took over after that. That's the writer. And he yep, he was the writer and then he got fired. He got fired. <laughs> oh, yes, he got okay. fired and they brought in a guy named Ray Self to finish the movie and oh. uh there's like a whole another hour of footage or whatever that didn't make it to this final cut. You know the doctor they keep referencing Dr. Bridal? No. They they, <laughs> they they name check him a bunch. She even okay. says, like, I okay. went to the doctor. Yes, it's like a whole thing. Okay. Uh, there's like a ton of scenes with him in it that they wow. just cut. But yeah, all this, the references to him are still in the movie. It feels like so. a job for uh, uh, Arrow Video to, <laughs> to, to find, yeah. cuts just find of, the multiple uh, yeah. cuts of all these and uh, bring them yeah. together. It's so funny because I, I recall different parts when they are referring to the doctor. And I was like, you know what? I feel like I have just not followed any of this movie and I've missed so much that yeah there could be a doctor I'm just not yeah. understanding there's many scenes that seem to take place like outside of the movie yes, yes. like the the inspect the chief inspector on the case of the Santa murders is always talking about being hauled into the chief's office and being basically berated, you know, torn, right. you know, torn into by this guy. But we never see it happen. Right. It's always like, oh, even that man upstairs right. told me. And then eventually he gets fired. And we're like, what? Where is this happening? Fired by who? Yeah. This is a very cheap movie. Mm-hmm. Well, sure. All right. What's uh, what's uh? So so we got the third guy comes in. Mm-hmm. So I'm guessing that Purdom, when he quit, was like, I'm not shooting anymore either, which would explain a lot of the end of this movie where the detective is not in it because they're uh, like, fuck, he quit, so we got to come up with some way to, like... Right. They were able to convince him to come back and film an ending. Okay. <laughs> Just the ending? Yeah. Yes. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. And they also uh, hired another writer to not even get a full writing credit, just get an additional scenes credit. Yeah. How long did it take him to make this movie? Two years. Okay. Makes so sense. it actually started in 82. <laughs> Makes then. sense. Okay. And it came out in 84. All right. Okay. So now we've given you the backstory, the setup. So don't open till Christmas. Mm-hmm. Don't open till Christmas. What's this movie about? Um, it's about a someone is killing they people get at wearing. At the beginning of this movie, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Uh, it's someone is killing people in Santa suits. Every description of this movie you read will say mall Santas. It's no, it's literally anyone who puts on anything that resembles right. any, a Santa any suit. Any hobo, any yeah. drunk who puts mm-hmm. on a Santa suit and says wander around. The cape marks you for death, you know? Yep. So. This is not the killer Santa movie. It's no. the no. Santa Santa's killer the movie. Killer, yes. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Make Thank the you. distinction. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. Yeah, you gotta you gotta mm-hmm. allow yes. me that one. Yes. Mm-hmm. Been sitting on that one. For, like, <laughs> I want. Oh, I want to say this in reverse. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, I'll give you that. That's fine. All right. Um, yeah. So I mean, our movie begins with a standard slasher movie pre-credit scene, which is not uh, the inciting incident. 
No. No, I I kind of I mean this is my we, this is all of our first time watching this. I knew yeah. like some of the major plot points, but I didn't like every, everything you read about this is like movies impossible to follow. It doesn't make any sense. So as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, so the inciting incident's not going to be at the beginning if it's no. impossible to follow. Then, but actually, it mirrors the structure of Friday the Thirteenth, the first one, mm-hmm. right? Because what we see at the beginning of that movie, pre credit, is not the inciting incident. No, but much like this one, you get two people who in this case a drunk santa and his girlfriend mm-hmm. their her, his randy girlfriend mm-hmm. go to the back seat of a car in an she alley is because uh there's a a voyeuristic uh viewpoint of the camera that comes is like wandering around the car and she's like no forget it just ignore him fuck me that's right there's somebody looking in the car yes yeah that just like three circles around the car this yeah. is a long yeah. scene yeah. 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 Like, a, like a shark yeah, yeah. it's like <laughs> All right. Breathing and they're just like, ignore him. I'm just like, I ass. wouldn't be able to. <laughs> just, you know, saying to her. <laughs> like, well, yeah. What can you do? I don't you know. This guy's people staring there, right? at me. Yeah. I don't think I want to fuck you if this dude's watching me this entire time. But maybe that's what she's into. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Some she's people are into that. Fucking Some people guys are into that. And you know what? That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> just maybe it's, don't do it out okay. in a no, no, creepy do, London no, alley. You can do whatever you want. But well, the, the law states you can't. The repercussions yeah. <laughs> are yours. Yes. yes. I'm also guessing that when they looked out, we're supposed to assume that the guy had the mask on that we right. see later yeah, in the movie. The right. Darth which is Vader why yes. right, which is why I'd be a little afraid to ignore it. Yeah. Yes. Well, he does stab them both to death. Exactly. Uh, right. And it's like a little uh, straight razor. Yep. Yeah. Poke, poke, everybody leaks all over the place. Yeah, it feels like there wouldn't, the straight razor wouldn't be able to, like, yeah. it's more can of a we, slashing yeah, thing. Yeah, can we than talk about that? Poke? There's yes. a lot of stabbing in this I feel like with was, a straight razor. Yeah, That's I, well, yeah. difficult to me. I feel like they're, it, yeah, again, the, the it should poking, be slashing, right, slashing not with stabbing. the straight razor. Uh, poking should be a sharper object. Yeah. Which I feel like it was. Pointier. Pointier is what we're yes. saying. Pointier. Yeah. Yes. So it, there's, a, there's something that's a little off kilter about yes. that. Mm hmm. Well, there's a lot of uh, Santa slashings that take yes. place. Santa slangs Sa- that yes. take place in this uh, movie. Slangs is is better. How's Slang. the? Because this is what you're going there yeah, for, I'm I suppose. You. Your 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 sex and gore quotient in a slasher film. How do we stack up in the gore uh, gore gore area? It's not bad. I mean, a dude gets his dick to- it's, chopped off with a yes. straight razor. It's it's that was unexpected. It's it satisfying. Was. They do some new things in this movie. There's yeah. some fun <laughs> things. Or at least yeah. some different things. Yeah. Like the, yeah. the, dick, some the dick, dick slashing off yes. with a straight yeah. razor. That was satisfying. The, uh, we ha- the, uh, there's, there's an eye sliding off a face. Oh, that was yes, really gross. Best, yes. which, uh, which got the best reaction from this crowd yes, watching did. this movie. Which the crowd was like, ah! <laughs> yes, it slid. It slid off. It slid off. It slid yeah. off. Slid yeah. off. Ooh, I don't know great. if that was like uh, the the effect. intentional or yeah, not. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but you know who is he gets a bottle to the face. Like, yeah, but you know what was the, like yeah. the way that that the this is where you need Tom Savini to direct your uh, your slasher scenes. I think it's it, it didn't might be have, better than you but there was no like impact. It was just like the guy breaks a bottle. There's never and impact. then in the next scene the guy falls down. He's got the bottle in his face. Yes. Turns over and his eye like slides off. It's yes. like they in this movie. It's like they don't know how to uh, use the impact for maximum effect in this movie but because it, it's yeah. never done that way. And for our purposes, it's wonderful because well, it's I think hysterical. It's, but I think you're right. <laughs> it's hysterical. I, I think that is uh, it's it's a way to go. Yeah, because it does end up working we, in a different and way. And we have to we have to make note to the listeners that the blood. Is like paint, right? Yeah, it's that red. Like when, Kensington it gore. Is the, yes. Yeah, it was a yes. certain recipe or something. Yeah. Yes. The, yeah. And when the eye is sliding off his face, it is oh, like the great. fakest eye you've oh, ever seen in wonderful. your life. It's, it's wonderful. wonderful. I think they all, Sean, I also think they have actors that aren't cooperating fully because when that guy <laughs> gets shot in the mouth through the back of the head, yes. instead of falling to the ground, he slowly he bends slumps. down and like then puts right. his hands down on the ground. Yeah. Right. Like if that actor is like, fuck you, I'm not this, falling. This is absolutely a man that has bad. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. If you get your brains blown out, you're not just going to slide slowly to yeah. the ground. He slowly like bent down is. and put his hands down on the ground before oh. his knees touched oh, the yeah. ground. There's a cast <laughs> of non-actors. I'm yeah. assuming they just like paid drunks or something. Oh, yeah. That's what it seems like. Sure. The guy who got... So at some point, our slasher, who, of course, we never really... 
I mean, I guess you do get a good look at him at some point. He does wear like a, it's a, like one a of those clear, and, uh, clear uh, Alice, plastic masks. Sweet Alice mask. Right. With right. the hoodie pulled up and the drawstrings pulled as tight as they could possibly very go. Very much like Alice, Sweet <laughs> it Alice. It is very Alice. much like Alice, Sweet very Alice. Very much. Yeah. Um, but he chooses a variety of weapons, including the straight razor, yes. a uh, spear, and a eventually spear. a shoe with a one of those pop up pop out James Bond knives. Love it. it was so right. awesome. Soul. Kicks a dude in the balls. Mm-hmm. Didn't see that coming. The best, the best kill in this movie. That guy I want. reacts not at all, <laughs> which is where I'm like, this guy's not an actor. They just yeah. kind of hired this guy. He falls down, and then what do you do to him then? Because then he like, then he cut his throat, or he because he, he kept on going to him. Yeah. So there's some remember. S- small stabbing happening. No, there should like be more scene. like he should have kicked him stabbing. and then kicked him more. Like yeah. there should have been like the kick to, that goes like the knife through the jaw. Yeah, 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 and you yeah, see yeah. it. Yeah. Sure. That should have been the next sure. thing. Like there should be more like he was kicked to death with an, a shoe knife. Yeah, <laughs> sure. That's what should have been happening. Yeah, the the sphere bit. through the back of the head was pretty cool. That's too. pretty cool. That's the one that yeah. starts off the movie. So, so what? Okay, so this is our actual. So, yeah, there are a catalog of uh, Santas or Father Christmases right? <laughs> right. who are wandering yeah, right. through in, drunken in, in, uh, uh, Father Christmases, wandering through the streets of London, and no matter where they go, uh, the killer somehow is able to sniff them out and appear like right next to them and, and then vanish. Yes, at will, uh, like that. Yep, mm-hmm. he disappears. Mm-hmm. He just doesn't make the pff noise. But the guy, when he's smoking, I he it. does make a noise when he pulls on that cigarette and Sean oh, can do yeah, it. And he it does sounds it like, like <laughs> what was it, what, it? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, but with awesome. more of a so, there, there, yeah, that was it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, awesome ADR. <laughs> so at the beginning of the film, mm-hmm. we are at a New Year's Eve. Uh, this is a Christmas party. It is a very strange Christmas it's a party, weird but Christmas yeah. Party. Is this what they do in London in back in the day, where it's like it's a costume party for I a mean, Christmas party? You, you never know the what is it? The fucking Dutch do blackface for Christmas. I guess other countries have weird fucking Christmas Maybe traditions. Maybe because uh, people dressed in pig faces, clowns, yeah, uh, weird old like one looks like fucking George Washington, old like the wigs of the day, and just like <laughs> dress what you want to, yeah. It's but Christmas. they've got all the streamers in a they room do. or in like a ballroom or something. It looks like New like Year's prom night or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, our lead—I don't even. Oh, I was going to say it was our lead uh, heroine, but that's not necessarily. She's for like part of the movie, mm-hmm. right? Until the rewrites <laughs> happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. And her name is Cheryl. Sharon. Sure. Mm-hmm. Sharon. Shelley. Sure. That's She's not Cheryl. Lady. It's like Sharon. Sharon. Let's just Sharon. say Sharon. Sharon? Sharon. Are you sure that isn't Kate? It could be Kate. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. Oh, I think it no, might be it Kate. Is, no, it is Sharon. Kate's the other okay. girl, isn't okay. it? Okay. Wait, that, there yeah. is a Sharon. Oh, no, no, Sharon. That's the model. You're was right. Sharon Kate the one with the boobs? Lead. Yes. Oh, Sharon's Sharon. the model. Sharon. Sharon's okay. with the boobs. Kate's the so real Kate, one. Kate, okay. Kate our lead, uh, oh, the blonde man. leading lady. There we go. Thank you, internet. Her father is playing Santa. At this event, and the adults are adult. losing their shit for Santa to come out. We what love the fuck? Because they, they really, Although, entire- but he gets say, like announced to come to the stage. So, but if I wasn't like at Christmas party and they're like Santa, I'd be like, oh shit! Uh, no. if, really? If I was drunk, if enough, I was, if I was yeah, drunk, yeah. I would be. Yeah, I get really Definitely enthusiastic when I'm drunk. Yeah, especially because he comes with a bag of yeah. No, gifts I'd be all, I'd be all not, for it. Not that's, he doesn't get that far. In this scene. I'd be all in for it. Yeah. Well, he doesn't too. get that far because it turns out there's a psycho killer lurking behind him. Apparently in a, who, a, a shrunken head mask. Yeah. Who tosses a javelin. <laughs> a yeah, javelin. Through his back of his a head. A sharpened by himself yes. javelin. Right in front like of his that. daughter. I got to say, I'm not a serial killer, but if I were, that would a not javelin be the way? might not be the right. best unless, idea. Unless you, went to, you were in high school and you were a championship javeliner. Because he nails the guy when the guy True. is blowing a kazoo, kazoo right. right? So yeah. right when he's You've doing that, be a professional, right oh. through the back of the mouth and oh. out the out or back of the head and out the mouth. How is that not in a Final Destination movie at this point? Like Should they're be. at a track and field meet, and yeah. Someone gets javelin, oh, yeah, gets shot putted. Yes. Ooh, I like Why all has these. that not happened? Uh, they've done gymnastics before in those Javelin, movies, so. but yeah, they yeah. get it in a non-lethal way, and they're like, "Oh, I'm going to survive," and the, and then they get shot, shot putted. Yeah. <laughs> can we can we just have an entire Final Destination like that revolves around the Olympics? Just the whole. Ooh. thing? They already did the gymnastics, and they get, they get lit want, on I fire by the, the eternal Olympics. flame. Yes. Yes. 
Yes. Yeah. Somebody accidentally sucks in a whistle and they're like, oh, oh, and they're, blow, they're whistling. And they're I want it. Right. Breath. And then they yeah. like run into like the track running and yeah. they all flip over and break yes. each other's necks and shit. Yes. This would work. Like the hurdle, like it snaps and like stabs someone and yeah, impales them. Like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> this would work. There's a lot of there's this already in there. there. Yeah. 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 I know there's yes. the gymnastics. There's yeah. I, know, I remember the gymnastics one. Yes. Yeah. That's, there's a lot of that. I'm just saying. But you also get the workout in number two. Oh, yeah. His head smash. Doesn't yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. And the masseuse saying, table. And we could expand. We could expand. Four, I think. I just watched all of these. <laughs> and they all just run together oh, like one movie. Because they're they're not bad. Oh, I, mean, I know what you're you talking know, about. Not, yeah, she goes into bad. the, the, yeah, yeah. the tanning salon or whatever. Well, there's the masseuse table, too, where the guy gets all the extra puncture needles, extra acupuncture needles in his face, and the table breaks. Oh. Mm. oh I think that was four. I forgot this one. And then it catches on fire, and the, I think, well, it's, the the same, fire. I think yeah. it's the same one as the LASIK eye surgery. Too. I'm uh, honestly not sure which one of these movies oh I've God. seen. All right, they went. Too, I think they went too far. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's, it's far. awesome. Like four, I mean, four like is definitely them. the worst one. I like what they do, but they made four is definitely the worst one. Five is a real like mm-hmm. five's the best one I think maybe. Five, it's either one or five. Yeah, right? two's but oh, two. Don't give two. Two. Has, no, it's not a good movie, but it the has logging, that. Op- yeah. It has the best. It's got the best opening. Yeah, best opening. Because I think the fourth. <laughs> so we're talking we're about Final Destination track. now. We're just yep. switching. <laughs> That's what we're doing. All right. So, so Devin Sauer. Yeah. Uh, so so this uh, uh, Kate's father dies in her yes. arms, and no one is able to find the culprit. No one even thinks about like, hey, maybe we should go like see. You know, it's we're in a room. That guy's mm-hmm. gone. Guy's gone. He's gone. Back her boyfriend gone. dramatically. What's his name? Like Kurt Colby. Kurt. What was his yeah, name? I... Cliff. 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 Cliff, his Cliff Boyd. Cliff, yes. Cliff Boyd. Wow. Cliff Boyd Cliff goes Levin. up to uh, the, no, that's the, not right. the bar and like, damn it, he hits the- He does. He's like- With his fist on the bar because he's very upset. <laughs> yes, as but, you do. Yeah. And so, the mm. next day, Scotland Yard, the new Scotland Yard, uh, detectives, yes, yes, as it says. including Inspector- Harris. Harris, right. right? Played by Edmund Purdom, right? The, the star Correct. A director of this yes. film. Yes, yes, yes. He kind of, uh, you said he walks like a, a universal monster. He does. He's got the, he's got the, he's kind of got the clenched up shoulders, so he it feels like he should be holding his arms up more and just be like, uh, but he, he's just holding him at his side. Yeah. He, he just felt like a monster to me. Like He's there was like, something uh, wrong with him. I get a bit of a like a Robert Mitchum vibe from him, so I kind of get what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. like Chris it's Sarandon to me or something. In the face, I don't know what the fuck. Uh, he, yeah, the hair. So anyway, he and his partner go to the apartment of uh, Kate, yes. who lives with her boyfriend, Cliff. right? Cliff. Yes. And uh, the impression that I got, you have to tell me if I'm seeing this wrong. But it was kind of like, are we, am I seeing it? it was, did this happen first? It was like he was able to hone in on the fact that there was some kind of discord between Kate and Cliff. And he's like, that Kate's a very pretty girl. And so he's hitting on her, kind of. And oh, like, yes. if you ever need to uh, my call it, yeah, here's, my, oh, yeah, you he's, can call me at my office. Well, what, I may Only need to, three people have this number. Yeah, I may need to call you in some place less public. Well, then here's my home number. He know? was like, you know where my office is. Yeah, <laughs> he is very, yeah, he's very, he's very. <laughs> he's very that guy. Very Johnny on the spot. Very, yes. I'm the guy. Yeah. yeah. Like, hey. Yeah. So you're going like, what the hell's going on here? I mean, he is the director of the film and right. you know, doing the whole I'm the hero kind right. of thing. He's also doing the very like, you have to do what I say. So just like pretend I'm sexy. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember if that scene came before or after uh, the scene in the film where. Uh, so Cl- they, Cliff, basically how he makes money is he's, he's a flautist. <laughs> that's that's feels like that's is that, it. Is that what we're going it feels with like that's it. He's a flautist. I think so. He's one of them London artists who stands out in Piccadilly Circus mm-hmm. playing a flute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. While she stands behind him collecting the money. I can't not imagine Will Ferrell mm. just playing Yaz flute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's the way this dude makes money. I know. This is amazing. <laughs> that's all I can imagine. No one's killed by a flute. It's very disappointing. I very thought kind of someone was going to be. The way he's holding that thing when he walks into that scene talking to his girlfriend, it's just like, he, because they're talking about uh, uh, the cop coming to visit her, and he's like, 
oh, oh, really? And then they just cut away from the scene. I'm like, he stabbed her in the neck with that flute. <laughs> the, 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 this is what I, feel, I thought. I feel like the funniest part is that when he started playing, I expected him to play like, you know, like the magic flute, like, you know, be really awesome. He's not he's very not, good. No, he sucks. He's, he's not, not very good. good. Uh, no one should pay him never to play his flute. Never flute in his life. No, how do they... Did they do anything else? How did they make a living at this? Also, I know she's about to like, inherit things from her father, he also, but... He also crashes nudie photo shoots for 50 bucks. There's also that. So. She's like, hey, you can make, it, you know, you can make 50. I think this right. was the most interesting dynamic in the movie, to me. Like, oh, what yeah, the I wanted fuck more. Is, oh, yeah. I'm very wanted curious more. about yeah. what's going on. Absolutely. Okay, so they're out playing uh, the flute, and they run into Cliff's <laughs> old buddy, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who comes yeah. up, and he's like... <laughs> uh, you know, hey, let's go have a beer. She's like, sure. you know, this guy's an asshole. I'm going to take off. So they go have a beer, and the buddy's like, uh, yeah, I'm into cameras now. I take pictures. You know, I'm into, if anyone tells you I'm into cameras now, Run. walk away. Walk <laughs> away. It's not going to be good for you, anyone you know. <laughs> not going to be good. Yeah, because he's like, you know, what are you doing? Porno? Oh, no, no. Just, you know, a little stuff no, on the side. No, just, you should come over it, later, though, cause, and there might be some money in it for you. You know, and bring the blonde also. You should come over later. There might be some money in it for you. Yeah. The guy no Cliff, red flags. never, never asks, <laughs> like, never what are you, what, is this like an advertiser? What no, are you doing? He knows. He knows. <laughs> he knows. Cliff yeah, knows. He knows. Cliff knows. <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> he knows. Cliff knows what's happening. He up. absolutely he knows. knows. When she confronts him, he knows. He knows everything. I love when he, she's like, oh, what did he want? Oh, he invited us over for tea. He knows. <laughs> like, just yeah, so. Right. Yeah, yeah, so we're going over he to knows house later. Oh, everything. Okay. He knows the nice. scheme. He knows what's going on. He knows everything. Well, at this dude's apartment, <laughs> he has got Sharon. Yes. Yes. The model uh, taking nude photos in his apartment. With a cape. That's right. Yeah. She's got a cape at this point. And so a gold cape. During the photo shoot, that's when uh, the couple walks in. Yes. Uh, Kate is like, what the hell are we doing here? And then this becomes like the greatest battle of logic. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, what the fuck are we doing here? And he, and the model's like, you must be the other girl who's going to yeah. be in the photos with me later. She's like, what? And he's like, uh, oh, yes, darling. Uh, another couple was supposed to be here and they canceled. And we're, we're here. Mm. No, I'm not doing that. But but we're here. Already. We're already we're, here. We're and... already here. You <laughs> might as well there's, take your there's top off. 50 quid in it for you. Come yeah. on. That it's no amazing. big. Yeah, we you can put on a wig. No one will know. What's the difference? He did make some. I mean, that was some pretty uh, convincing <laughs> shit. Right that, there. That, it's the how most do you convincing com, you can how do you be? beat that? Yeah. I mean, oh, I yeah. guess. Yeah, just put on a wig. Put on a wig. Like, put on huh, some makeup. All better. No one if will notice all better. you. Yeah. It'll be fine. I mean, these are all valid points. I think you know, it's like, wow, that's, uh, like, that's airtight. No. So uh, we don't see what happens to her. I assume that she leaves. she leaves and goes home. Oh, that's right, she does. There's, there's a lot of assuming in this movie, right? Well, there is, but she leaves and goes home, and so we're because, Cliff is going to help with the street scenes. Yes, he's convinced yes. to stay and not go follow her and console her and all that stuff. So Cliff is uh, convinced to stay with the photographer buddy and Sharon, mm. but he and Sharon go outside. Sharon now dressed as Santa Claus. Yes. Mm -hmm. Naked Only underneath. Mostly right. naked, naked underneath. underneath. We have to assume slash we it is revealed. Yes. And then the cops show up. And <laughs> right, because they lock they lock themselves out of the building. And they're like, <laughs> oh. all right, now this is the greatest like no, five minutes in this. It, it really is because we're gonna get into some shit that you know, just you know, bear with us. But they're just like, oh, they're gonna think we're a bunch of guys if they see <laughs> yeah. us out here together. Stand, just standing near yeah. each just other, standing a man near each other, and a woman. Yes, and in a, a woman Santa in a cape, full Santa cloak. Yeah. We'll say. yeah, so he's he's assuming that the cops are thinking that the, the, they're gonna think that that's Father Christmas. Right, and some dude, Father Christmas, and another yeah. man, and, be, but and we weren't this, sure like, that's illegal. if it was like, yeah, is uh, <laughs> is being gay illegal in 1986 London? You'll have right. to help us out, uh, right? Uh, of the laws at this point, because we know it's close. Because <laughs> they were like, we have to just just run, run away. They right. panic like they do. The yeah. dogs are being put on them, you yeah. know, like yeah. right. But I wasn't clear. So this is the other alternate reading of this: is that the cops were coming because uh, they know that there's a Santa slasher. Yes. 
Mm-hmm. And they're like, you know, well, this is Santa, so we're going to go talk to well, Santa. Well, yeah, but that, that doesn't explain why Cliff would be freaked out, because he doesn't know about that. That's right? true, but so, he's also like, uh, you know. Like, no, because Cliff's be like running away going, girl, I'm not gay. And, yeah. yeah. Like, that's, it, no, that's it, Cliff the, the cops point. approaching them makes sense to me. It's his reaction that doesn't yes. make sense. Yes. Yeah. So Absolutely. Cliff takes off. Like, she runs down yeah, an alley uh, where she is found, of course, by the guy who's like, what is somebody in a Santa costume? Yes. Bam, I'm there. The psycho killer. That's what activates get, him. Yeah. It's like someone <laughs> yeah. stepped outside wearing a Santa I, he costume. Can tell, he right, can sense it. Spike. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it works. Just like, Santa oh. sense? <laughs> he's like, where is it? Zoom, and he's yeah, there. Yeah. I feel like he's just walking blade. around for an hour going. <laughs> <laughs> what does he do like? The other eleven months out of the year when there isn't people, is he just like go into hibernation? Well, it only happens say. like mm. yeah, yeah. Is he just fine? When the dude, yeah. when our inspector Harris gets chewed out, the 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 plan. unfeeling high sheriffs say basically that like, well, if you just sit this out until next year, it'd be somebody else's problem yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so he's just he's just triggered at Christmas. The yeah. rest of the year he's fine. Yeah. Right, he's absolutely for, fine. For all they know, this is them not trying to examine other. Uh, links between murders throughout the rest of the year, but sure. Oh, you know how you write the sequel to this movie? You like you road trip it up or something, right? And they they come across like a theme park where it's like Christmas themed year round, right? And then he's like, oh, he loses it because he's like he thought he could escape it. (laughs) Yeah. Well, this gives us, of course, like you know, you go like, well, okay, I've seen enough of these movies. Uh, Anybody killing people who are wearing Santa Claus costumes. Must have some kind of Santa fixation sure. from a childhood trauma, right? Which we wait for and we wait for it, but <laughs> ultimately, got to come from a trauma that does happen. <clears throat> just stay with it. Um, <laughs> but he, she is not killed, although he no. does like you know make sure that she. It's is, just the weirdest, most awkward it's, scene where she's. I, it's really long. Undressing her and like yes. holding a knife to her, but she's like, "I'm just gonna stand here and act scared and like you right. could run." Is. I Wait. still don't understand what I don't happened. understand yeah. either. It is no. the most, it is the weirdest thing. She's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sean's pulling his coat open right oh. now in a reenactment. Don't kill me. It's, yeah. it's the weirdest scene. And Just it goes like, on a long time. We're yelling at the screen, run away mm-hmm. from this man who has a knife on you. And yet she just stands there freaking out, just t- uh, literally <laughs> grabbing her breasts. Yes. Like just, oh. Yeah. <laughs> It's it's the weirdest. This might thing. be my favorite instance of Sean not not realizing that the listeners can't see him. No, 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 no. they're, they're literally where, just they're no, literally just listening really to you make sex sounds. It really this is, show. and I don't really care. Just and sex forever sounds. and ever more, I didn't care before. I don't care now, <laughs> and I won't boy. care in the in the future how they see that. Yeah, They'll just know they, that they I was won't. just like uh, ah. just, just Sean and sex sounds. Yes, Sean and sex sounds. That's it. Uh, Look for that album moments. later this year. Michaela, you're missing. <laughs> is that like pet sounds? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, exactly. Yes. So she's not. She's spared. So we're going like, oh, yeah, there must be something to the psychology. So, right. He only kills dudes in Santa. Is, well, that's what we. That's what you start wondering at this point. It's like, <gasps> th- what is he looking for? <laughs> oh, I thought I had it figured out, but now I. Now I don't think I did. I was thinking like, what if it was like a Jason thing, and she looked like his mom. Learning what we find out later, but oh, she does, she and she, if anything, she looks like the the other the woman. mistress. Yeah. yeah, right. So it, actually, he should have killed her. Yeah, yeah. So we're wondering, it's like, is it just men? Like, does he have a thing a bit like? Did, did, did a man do something to his mother dressed as Santa at some point, and that's what he's looking for? Like, we we start looking for reasons why he kills the men dressed as Santa, but ignores the women. It, he doesn't. It's kill too them. bad they didn't make her a brunette because then you totally could have just played it off as like a Jason mom sort of thing. Sure. Mm-hmm. Dang. Thought I, had, I thought I had something. <laughs> well, here's what's odd to me. He doesn't kill her, right? Yes, he does not. Even though she sees him and can identify him as having eyes that smile. But yeah, but under a mask. That, like, I don't know if I'd say know, smile. Colin, they scream. Eyes that smile. Well, I mean. <laughs> they do. They scream. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Right. Popping out of that dude's head. Yeah. Trying to get away from him. And then <laughs> later on, there's another girl who also sees. So she's a, this other girl's a sex worker who works in one of those peep shows, you know, where you go yes, in and yes, yes, yes. have the phone See, conversation. It's, it's a glass weird wall. Peep show, that is not, though. yeah, it's, a peep show how, uh, how I know it from my movies. It's like a peep that, show slash phone sex, but in person. 
It's, yeah, it's like it's like the New prison. York, that's a New York section. Usually they have like a timed uh, Where door. It's like door. Yeah, comes the, down. it's like you a prison put the coins in. Ex- yeah. Okay, yeah. the peep show. Oh, that's from- all over the world. Oh yeah, that's yeah. that's a thing. But yeah. like the yeah. peep show I'm it's familiar with from guy movies. Forgives. Sorry. Yeah, the peep show I'm familiar with from movies is you put a quarter in, like a, a slot opens yeah, or like a so thing opens, time. and you see, and then like yeah. usually she's on a pedestal, dances or does whatever, yes. and then comes down. Yeah. This is nothing like that. Well, they didn't have the budget for that. This, this is like a prison. Uh, when you when you want to talk to someone that's in prison, this is the exact yeah, there setup. There is more yeah. interaction than I ever thought there would be in this scenario. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think there is because I don't see how the money gets exchanged because they didn't have the money for a set. They had a paint a sheet. Of glass and a sheet <laughs> yeah. behind her. And a light bulb. Yeah, and I, yeah they a have a bare ass light bulb. <laughs> bare <laughs> light bulb. Yeah. <laughs> and anyway, this old Santa dude comes in and like starts talking to her and he gets knifed all of a sudden because how the fucking Santa killer found this guy, I don't know. I assume he's been following no, him for uh, at least I, a couple hours beforehand, but, you know, that's just me I, putting this into the movie. I imagine it's like in Hocus Pocus when she can smell children. I smell squad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's amazing. And anyway, so she sees the guy who she later describes to the police uh, detective as uh, he has eyes that smile yes. behind his mask. And the cops are Again, like... Again, I agree with Michaela. It's way more aggressive than a smile, but okay. Well, I mean, that's... It, I think it's the daffiest uh, uh, excellent description of a person that you could possibly give to a, a cop. I don't think it's not going to identify anybody, but no. yeah, they have smi- They have eyes that smile. I, if, the, if their eyes says, and the world is bright. If someone day. says that someone has like smiling eyes, I'm going to picture a sweet old grandma. Right? Yeah, or an old man right. who's just like, ah, oh, yes, yeah, a yeah. It's not, old, it's not going to yeah. help me identify anybody. No. I don't yeah. think. I don't think. I don't think it would. Like, no. no. Which is weird because you could see most of his what? face through the mask. Looking for smiling eyes. Oh. Um, so <laughs> any the cop is like, you know, but now you have to be worried because he knows that you saw him and he knows that you know that he, he knows, knows that you know that I know that you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so sure enough, she does get chased down and murdered by uh, the, the Santa killer. So she's the only victim, right? Is it the blonde? <clears throat> the blonde. Do we see it? Yeah, didn't she run around the court? Wait, didn't she get killed? I'm pretty sure that he got her. Wait, who, 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 who are we talking about? This what? is the sex worker, blonde. Bo- the peep show girl? Yeah. No, no she's, she's all the way to the end. No, she gets all the way to the end. Oh, that's right. Because, yeah. Right, right. God damn it. I remember her running around the corner. I'm like, that's where she got the killed. The model mm-hmm. is the one from earlier that we think got murdered and is hung upside mm-hmm. down. No, that was a no. brunette girl. Is that the br- it's a brunette it's a girl. That's when they go to the person. dungeon, right. right? Because one of the drunk Santas makes his way into this right. fucking dungeon, which has all this kind of erotic art statue, very erotic, yes. which looks like real people painted gold mm-hmm. in yeah. various erotic poses and stuff like that. And then he ends up in like coming out in a stage door where Caroline Monroe is performing Hell on yeah. stage <laughs> to no one. Right. <laughs> it, it is to it's no true. one. There's no there's audience. There. There's no they don't even pretend there. like they there's an audience. An audience no. So yeah. they didn't, didn't even try. Yeah. And then she freaks out when uh, the elevator from, uh, you know, whatever the trap door brings yeah, from, up the dude's uh, body the floor, yes. after he's murdered by backstage by the killer. Um, so our suspect list, right? We've got, because we know that the killer is male. That's what we've got. Going. Yes. Yep. We do. Yes. There yeah. are some. What feel like female hands we see, which are, I think, supposed to be the killer hands in yeah. like at least one or two scenes. Very limited, but it feels like they're female hands. I don't think that was to throw us off, though. I think that was just, hey, we need some hands. I Who think can so. Do it? I would Who agree. It? I would agree with that. <laughs> yes. Well, we've got. But we figure it's male. Yeah. So we figured, well, we're I, like. I it can't thought be, it was narrowed down to two. It can't be the boyfriend. It can't be Cliff no, Boyd. He's too obvious. Because he was standing next to uh, Kate's dad yes. mm-hmm. when he she speared. was javelin. Right. He when, was javelin. The, when the dad was javelin. So right. it's not. So he's yeah. out. So he disappears from the movie, like literally vanishes. His character mm-hmm. goes poof and is not seen for the. He second, goes third. to the cutting room floor and the uh, scenes that weren't used. In sure, this apparently so. So that leaves us <laughs> only fine. with Inspector Harris. Yes, uh, our star. So you're like, mm, it could be him. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, there's a reporter who keeps showing up named Giles. Yes. who threatens mm-hmm. to expose the entire plot. Basically, to uh, Harris's partner, and is like, 
if you want to crack this case wide open, you need to start looking at Harris. And then there becomes yeah. this whole thing like Harris may not actually be Harris. He may, right. may have a fake name. His you partner know, follows him uh, around. Yeah. He's like, uh, maybe it is. Just uh, based on this tip. Right. And at the same time, Kate is suspicious of him because he keeps hitting on her. So I thought that they went out to dinner at one point where she was basically trying to bait the hook, like working with the partner to try right. and catch him in something. But I don't think that was actually what was happening. I think they actually just went to dinner. I think they went to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> it was a nice dinner. It was a nice right. dinner. Yeah, they had nice. turkey. <laughs> oh, yeah, they, they did. He's like, well, it's Christmas. Would you like turkey? Yeah. No, that he didn't, was, even, that he was didn't, it. He yeah. didn't even suggest it. He's like, well, it's Christmas. She's like, I'll have the turkey. I'll have it. Yes, that was it. I'll have the turkey. I was like, as you would. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, because uh, I want to get you sleepy without <laughs> other drugs. <laughs> yeah. That's well, it. at the end, he's a perfect gentleman because apparently she goes home and he goes home, which yeah, is basically the, him leaving the movie because they didn't shoot any scenes with her. It was like, just dinner, and then the very next scene is like her sitting at home. Yeah. And then suddenly, Giles shows up, the reporter, Giles, Giles. in her apartment. She's like, "What are you doing in my apartment?" You can't just come in here. I He's like, the I can. Open. <laughs> That's it. You know, That's actually, I, get, I do got to give this movie credit. Uh, the actors, I maybe it's, maybe have a prejudice because they're British. <laughs> it seems like they're better <laughs> than if like they're British, American they're always actors better. in the same kind of material. Like, I'm like, huh, they're actually like, okay in this. <laughs> if they're British, they're always a level up. Over right? American, they they like, always are because they just be real. Let's sound be real. smarter. They're, let's be real. They're not better. They're just more charming. Yeah, and that's that it. What it and that's and, what it is. And, but that's all yes. it takes. Yeah. and that's, that's fine. I is. think that's fine with most of us. And just like they're more charming in roles that Americans would not be as charming. Yeah, in. I mean, I believe I'm the okay partner, with that. Yeah. I was like, I believe that guy. Yeah. Even in this shitty fucking movie, that guy was like, I'm okay with it. Yeah, and uh, what was her name? Kate. Well, actually, she had basically a performance which uh, nothing phased her at all. And mm -hmm. then we think, okay, so she's going to be the one who ser solves this case. But that's not true. Giles stabs her to death right there in the apartment, which was shocking. I was surprised. <laughs> <'Cause I'm> like, <laughs> she died. She's your final girl. Like, she's. Yes. We don't have Cliff. He's, like, just written out of the movie arbitrarily. Yeah. Harris, we're like, well, he's the one who's doing it somehow. No. Turns out Harris and Giles are brothers yeah and they and they get to the point where they just start showing them in two different uh the same timeline but like uh harris is with his partner and giles is with someone else so we're just like we're showing that we're showing this we're just like oh okay so they're kind of they get to the point where they're just like it's giles like they're uh, Specifically, Giles. As in the movie, just makes a choice. It, it like, does. It, it makes could have a in the original be draft. Giles. Could have been Harris was the killer. I think it could have been until he quit the the movie, and then they had to come up <laughs> with something else. Right until the director quit the movie. Yeah, because yes. they also had to come up with like these additional scenes. I'm assuming a lot of them involved a the Santa Claus is being murdered. Yes, mm -hmm. that's part of your hour of extra footage, and the stuff involving. Uh, I don't know her. I would keep saying the sex worker, but I don't know her character's name. But the blonde girl Suzanne? from the uh, Susan. I want to call her Susan. Sharon. Sharon. No, Sharon was the model. No, Sharon from, was, the model. was the model. The the photo shoot. This is the girl with the uh, the t shirt that said like. Oh right, we didn't. Uh, yeah, what was her name? I don't know. The blonde Sharon. girl. I like her. From, I like her. Yeah, um, she was put into the work in. Right. The, I'm just the filling sex in dungeon. for my mother. <laughs> she, her mother. she doesn't have which a is, name. Which she's is like, the <laughs> best joke. Which I really like that joke. And what she's about to say, I, I, I knew she, what she was going to do, and I really like that joke. I'm, no, I'm just filling in for my mom. Mm -hmm. Oh, because it's like, oh, why are you here? She it's owns like, well, the place. My mom, um, my mom owns the place. Yes, that was it. And I really like that joke. <laughs> she doesn't have a name. She's just credited as an experienced girl. The oh. experienced well, girl. I, okay, yeah, well, I like her. She's, she does well. Experienced girl, due to uh, your director quitting the movie, gets 
promoted yes. to final girl. Mm -hmm. She is kidnapped by Giles, and that's what happened to her. I thought yeah. she was killed. She was kidnapped in that scene. <laughs> right. Or it turns into don't yet. breathe for a second out of it, fucking nowhere. Because he, he even says something right. like you have to like atone for your sins or something to that effect, which is very similar to the language used in don't breathe when that whole thing goes yeah. down, too. Yeah. It was and also weird because he's basically like, yeah, you're, you, you're selling your soul instead of your body, mm -hmm. whatever. And it's right. like, but this doesn't fit the psychological profile nope. of the Santa killer we have right uh, we have no evidence at this point that he has like an issue with sex work specifically because he spared the model so it really doesn't make sense and it's, she saw his face so why didn't he try and kill the model why right, is he trying yeah. to kill this one yeah. and this it's is so, arbitrary it's, it's so funny because i feel like the twist they probably wanted was for us to be surprised at who the killer was but it was really who the final girl was yeah that was the big twist <laughs> right <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah I agree, I agree. I, 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 I agree. I was yeah, like, oh, yeah. this movie's gone somewhere. I now we're expect. pretty much sure who yeah. who is what. And it's like, oh, the final the final person he's going after is didn't that's see that really coming. Weird. Yeah, yeah. Yes. The whole movie that's a great twist. We're right? saying is with this girl Kate, her boyfriend, and the detective. Basically, that's what we're looking at. And then it's like boyfriend just disappears from the movie. Kate's murdered, <laughs> and detective is revealed to be like, well, he's the brother of the killer. Right. So what do you got there? Um, in the end, uh, what? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck happened yeah, at the end of this I, movie. I, I remember I'm getting the, right. he chased her up the stairs. Up the stairs. He tries to get her to with the chains. door, and then he's like chasing. Her. He's got a chain that he's trying to hit her with. Yeah. She got away, and then she ends up pulling him over the. Uh, explain to me what happened. He so he he. Yeah, yeah, he, he does. Goes, he goes the railing. How yes, does this because work? Right. he so he has the chains and she's got like her back to the railing and he throws like the chains at her and she ducks and it wraps around the railing and she, and grabs, she grabs it, it and pulls <laughs> and he it pulls him over. Mm -hmm. That's a good way to go. Uh, if, if it's wrapped around his hand, but, and, um, but then that's when it gets weirder. <laughs> <laughs> Because he's not dead. Because he's not dead, and we get a weird flashback. Uh, yeah, he yeah. should be dead. Well, we get, the, we get the inciting incident finally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we do, right? We just, get it. It's this just very so late. like abrupt. You're like, wait, what the fuck is happening? And yeah. I think this is also a dream that's being had yes. by his brother at the moment that. So, oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. So let's he, let's set this up. Though. Right. So, so Giles. The killer falls to through like the this uh, over a rail over a rail it's down a stairwell yes. crash she creeps down there boom surprise he's still alive mm -hmm. he reaches up and right at that moment we cut to almost subliminally to uh, Harris Detective Ian Harris waking up or no he's having a nightmare he has the nightmare, nightmare yeah. then we go back in time. Mm -hmm. We do, yeah. <laughs> yes, we right? Do. To the party, the inciting incident. <laughs> yes. So what right. happens there? Uh, young Giles and Ian, uh, there's a Christmas party at their house. Right. Very obviously a key party, by the way the adults are acting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then Probably. Kind of seems yeah. like After the kids go to bed. Yeah. Yeah. After the kids go to bed. And these yeah. are the only two kids here. Like, there's not any other kids like, at this party. <laughs> oh, look at the little kids. They're yeah. going to be going to bed later. So we yeah. can. Uh, a Santa comes in and brings presents for the kids, which if you've seen It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, the Christmas special, you know exactly where this is going. Yeah. And uh, Giles walks in on Santa, who is his dad, plowing someone that is not his mom. Right. Mm -hmm. And then his mom comes upstairs and sees and then faints and falls down the no, stairs. No, dad slaps her. Is that what happened? Yes. Okay. Dad slaps her and like very pushes, basically way. like unintentionally pushes her down the stairs. Do we she think that dies. that, okay, she we are meant to believe but that killed her. Yeah, also, she was just like. This is why I'm glad yes. you yeah. two were here. Because I didn't remember. <laughs> but this is the other thing. Giles' Christmas present from Santa is a Swiss army knife, so he, mm -hmm. which he immediately right. takes like stabbing at the air like that kid's got oh, problems. Oh, right, yeah. Because yes. that kid's just stabbing at See, random shit. Now, right. if this movie were made in a more elegant way, we would have seen this inciting incident and seen the Swiss army knife, and then when they wanted to reveal who the killer was, we would they'd knife. have a Swiss yes. army knife. And someone would be someone would make an offhand comment about like he's had it since he was a kid or something like that. Yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. but not so this. That's movie. not that's not, not this, this movie. movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's also revealed uh, 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 that Detective Harris has been because when Kate at some point is calling his house to try and you know meet up with him to tell him something important, which we couldn't figure out what that was, um, is spending a lot of time at the mental hospital, mm -hmm. right where sure. he was visiting Giles. Uh, he was out I, on the street. I don't I'm not know. sure what was no, happening. No, no, no. no idea. No idea. But he says then in, uh, help me out here, at the end of the movie, doesn't he have like some kind of explanation for like, uh, 
or did we just see it? The whole thing about, you know, uh, Giles saw his mother being, uh, or no, sorry, saw his father dressed as Santa Claus. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that threw him over. How the else. fuck did this movie end? My God, it's like. The Christmas I, present. It ended with the present. Oh, that's right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because I'm, what, yeah. we, what we didn't get, listener, this is why this is such a problem. Because the last thing we see of Giles is him going, run, reaching up after yes. the uh, the experienced yes. girl. Mm-hmm. Yes. Goes down. Yes. Yeah. And <laughs> then it cuts to the flashback. And yes. then the movie ends with. Uh, so we don't know what happens to... What, no, you gotta what, leave that door open for the sequel, Colin. Obviously. Right. Right. Obviously. We don't know what happens. Did because... we mention, this is maybe the most important thing about most this important. entire podcast, and I don't think we did mention it. Mm. No. But at the very beginning of the movie, after the credits, after the pre-credit scene, credits, yes. and then Detective Harris receives... A Christmas present. Which has a label on it that says... Don't open till Christmas. <laughs> and so on Christmas Day, after he's had this horrible nightmare, remembering the past moment... He yes. opens the Christmas present. Yes. What is it? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? I forgot. It's a music box. Yeah. That explodes. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right. So I'm not the only one. <laughs> I did. I it's, a music, the, it's we, a music. That was box. the last thing we saw. Yeah, Literally the well, last thing we saw. I remember it exploding. So, I don't yeah. remember what it was. Oh, yeah. right. It explodes. Yeah. yeah. It yes. Yes. explodes yes. and presumably oh, right. kills a uh, yes. detective. It's, I don't it does. it's quite literally that scene from Jingle All the Way. <laughs> it goes boom. The whole frame explodes. Shit goes all over the place. Right. I think that Harris is dead. Credits. That's it. I mean, yeah. Because I don't want to think of this movie. <laughs> he was that close. That. Yeah, he was that died. close to yeah. an explosive. I'm sure he's dead. Yeah. yeah it didn't. Yeah. It didn't seem like it would be. That's big why the credits for him rolled. To die, yeah, he's dead. It wasn't very big. But they couldn't. Have, they big. couldn't shrapnel. afford big. It wasn't very big. But big. all right, he's dead. I'm they're okay shrapnel with in him it, man. Dead. You know, that's all it takes. Yeah, really fine. Just the shock wave. I like the the simplicity of it. Right. It's it's poetic. It's just like after all that, he's dead from his brother who sent him a gift. Yeah, that's fine. But is his brother dead? We no. don't. We don't know. Is experienced I, I, girl I think dead? His, I think his brother's dead. Yes. We don't know. <laughs> I think his brother's. This dead. is a potential sequel. We have Michaela, nothing else yeah. to say that he's alive. Going. I think don't uh, open yeah. till next Christmas. Michaela's saying we don't know because <laughs> the sequel. I am drawing conclusions right now. I say okay. everybody's dead. Well, the movie doesn't tell us one way or another. No, but I am all dead. Sure, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> All dead. So with his last breath, then Giles kills I the think so. girl. She I dies. Think the- then he goes, uh, 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 and he's dead. Yeah. And yeah, so I'm, all of our yeah. lead characters, except for Cliff and Cliff is alive. Cliff yeah. is still alive. The partner, <laughs> unfortunately, we say the partner, it's a, 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 the it's, detective's it's, yes. police partner. Who wears the hat? He ends up, because I thought for a while he was going to be uh, like the next guy in line to survive this movie. Yeah. But no, he gets electrocuted to death when uh, Giles rigs up a couple of battery cables to his car door and dude oh, opens right, the car door. Yes. Yes. I forgot yes. about yes. that. That was pretty Jesus. cool. Because I was reminded of Slaughter right. High at that moment. Yeah. He does yeah. get electrocuted to death. Gee. Oh, boy. <laughs> Is it getting better in your memory now that all these scenes <laughs> I, are coming back? I'm remembering a lot. I'm just like, wow, a lot happened in this movie <laughs> that I forgot. Yeah. So there you go. Did did we specifically tell them what happened in the bathroom? The bathroom. Oh no no. Did well, we, we were just cataloging a bunch of Santa deaths. What happened in that Santa death? It was a uh, uh, larger than life Santa, and relieving himself in the restroom. Oh right right right. The killer comes in with his his straight razor, and quite literally lops off the dude's peen. Wow, yeah. Yep. He, he he does a reach around yeah. with a, he a, does. Kind of, <laughs> reach, a reach around with a razor. <laughs> he he yeah. does do yes. a reach around just not while the guy is at the, the urinal. Yes, he blood does. goes all over the place. This yeah. is probably I don't know. I think the I spit on your grave uh panectomy. Yeah. Is that what you call it? <laughs> that one's that way worse. That one's right. worse. Well, that one has the worst sound effects too. Oh, the pop. Yeah. This, yeah. And just the guy like we, oh, 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 yeah. we yeah. must say uh, that with me. in the deaths of this movie there are no sound effects. It's almost like it goes quiet when the people die in yeah. this movie. Mm-hmm. So just it's a, weird. Just, well, because it's just a, a, it's just a little smoking. stab in the gut most yeah, of the time. But, you know? but because they go so quick, at least earlier in the movie, they go without sound. And so they're very quick and happens and then we're on to something okay. else. Because well, you got to pay for that shit, Sean. Sure, you do. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, ah, oh, we got to create sound effects. Mm, no, nah, we're not going to do it. Yeah. So it doesn't happen. It's but right. still, yeah. there was a penectomy. 
<laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we're using that term right. I think probably. You, oh, I guarantee not. When but, you completely take it off, it's ugh. probably called something else. Blech. We're gonna find. It's, this it's just called blech. Yeah, you were looking something up earlier. Was oh, I? it was the with Caroline Monroe. How many movies she was in? Oh, we said yeah. Five. We talked okay. about this five. The yeah. fifth. Right. Gotcha. Okay. So, uh, tell you what, listener, you want to stick around and find out what we actually thought of. Don't open till Christmas. Yes. But before that, we are going to read some of your mail. And to do that, we're going to need some assistance. And that means we're going to have to summon our mailman. And his name's Igor. Bring us the mail. Come with us now, if you dare. Down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Why, thank you, Igor. Thank you, sir. You got a little Santa cape on. Well, you got to have the Santa cape, not yeah. a Santa hat. It's, it's, well, this, no. is, this movie was like a cape. bathrobe half the yeah, time. It's the yeah. Father it's, Christmas. It's right. not Santa Father Claus. Yeah. It's Father yes. Christmas. Yes. It's fuzzy. It's but right they call him Santa Claus. Yeah. He's going to be wearing that for the next month, at least. No, oh, One yeah. of them yeah. gets killed by the chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Oh, oh yeah, that's true. right. Yeah, that was pretty yes, cool. There was a chestnuts murder. And like he was apparently a well known local chestnut vendor. <laughs> he <was a> less <laughs> apparently well known <laughs> local drunk. Well, because they said that the oh, he's one a drug girl peddler. mentioned she's a drug did peddler. You, but the yeah. one girl mentioned she goes, Did you hear the ch- chestnut roaster on whatever street got killed? And right. like knew him by like first name. They were on like a first name basis with the guy on the corner roasting nuts. As you do. Because who roasts chestnuts? I mean, my God. <laughs> on, in London? It's so cliche. There's one on every corner around so cliche. Christmas time. Uh, well, about tonight's movie, Don't Open Till Christmas, David Ford. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. What? In order. Oh, you're jumping right in. For yeah. you to ah. participate in this exciting part yes. of the show, you're going to have to follow us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. You're going to have to follow us on Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. Or perhaps you want to write in by email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or follow us on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. Uh, Dave Forbes writes in and says, is it don't open till Christmas or regift immediately? I guess we'll find out together this week, guys. I'm going to have to find a copy. True. <laughs> I love that people were willing to play along with this movie. Right? This week. Yeah. Play it's along. not an easy one to find. So so hopefully, Dave, you didn't actually have to buy it. You just saw it on YouTube. We'll point you in the right direction. The same Greek way we subtitles. did. Just ask yep. us. We'll show you where to find it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we'll show you the way. Um, I do appreciate, yeah, that the, you're following along at home and watching. Okay, yes. so yes. here's a question, actually. Listener, you got to let us know. Do you Would you prefer to hear about movies you have already seen and get our take on it, or do you want us to lead you down the path and find these mm, kind of- It's not a bad uh, question. Uh, yeah. Do you want uh, us to dump, dumpster dive for you guys? Because that's what it is sometimes. <laughs> I think, yes. Yeah, I think yes. they're- but I think it's always just like it's down the middle. I'm like they appreciate us talking about movies that they know and that we know, and so we can give some you know good background on these things. But I think they also appreciate us like uh, driving us driving them in the direction of stuff that is going to be uh, uh, future classics. I think so. Part of their like, Thanksgiving just, Day rotation, yeah, Blood Rage. Or, if nothing else, some weird <laughs> fucking shit that they've never heard of. Yeah. Well, because we'll let them tell people, us. Yeah, yeah. There you go. This would be so one of them. let us know. All right. About uh, last week's episode, Plan 9 from Outer Space, B movie. Oh, wait, wait. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Was there another one about tonight's? Uh, Yeah, one more. <clears throat> all right. Michael Whitaker writes in and says, uh, typical. Thanksgiving's not even here yet. And all the horror movie podcasts <laughs> out there have Christmas, Christmas. episodes out. I hope you're enjoying this with some Jameson and eggnog. Got to pair the drinks with the movie. Am I right? Yep. <laughs> okay. So the way yeah. the calendar shakes out, I had to pick it. Now I wouldn't get it in before Christmas. You're listening to this after Thanksgiving. So yeah. Uh, so we, High Life, suck it. <laughs> High Life is definitely a Christmas. Drink. We record all over the place. Um, plan, we plan for the calendar. Uh, mm-hmm. Plan Nine from Outer Space. Last week's movie, B Movie Poster Vault, right. wrote, wrote in, and he says, "I first ran across this movie in Medved's Golden Turkey Awards book as a kid. Oh. Yes. not the worst movie of all time, despite its reputation. I'm it looking is. at you, Oscar-winning movie Crash. Never dull, <laughs> endlessly watchable, Crash quotable, and a fantastic flick to have on in the background of a party." I agree. Yeah. yeah, it is a good, it is. good yeah. party movie. Yeah. yeah. If nothing else for the German, the big German dude walking mm. around. Tor Johnson? Yeah. <laughs> He's Tor, Swiss. Yeah. We were so wrong on every oh, piece of I'm trivia sure we, we dropped on that movie. Uh, <laughs> I, I just take what we said for it. Like He he's, he do? looks German. He sounds German. He's terrifying as a German. 
That's fine. <laughs> Johannesson. Yeah, Tor. Tor. Johansson. Son of Sin. Johan. Son of John. Uh... Uh, the previous week's movie we watched, I See You, yes. a.k.a. Detox, mm. uh, Jacob yes. Laws. We mentioned, uh, okay, so context. And that episode, we said that Stallone was in several movies, Copland being this dramatic one that basically yeah. signaled the end of his action movie career. Right. Um, but I wasn't slamming it. Jacob Laws no, says, I thought was Copland good. was very good. Stallone, Ke- Keitel, and Leota play off each other quite well. I don't think I've ever seen that. It's a good movie. It's I a good not drama. Seen it either I would like to because it was always a big thing during that time. Just like Copland, and it felt like it was Stallone's dramatic turn. Yeah, like the big one. He's going back to like who he was with the Rockies, right? Uh, and kind yeah. of giving away and trying to have the second yeah. career, and it just didn't happen. And he went direct to video with. Yeah, but you Detox. said it's got uh, Harvey Keitel and Ray Liotta. No. Yeah, I'll, and I'll, I'll um, watch that. T one T one thousand. Robert Patrick. Patrick, thank Robert you very Patrick's much. Who's in, in? Oh, all right. Yeah. Who's in that? All right. I'll oh, watch some, that. And yeah, a lot of good actors in that movie. Uh, yeah, you should I'm, check I, it out. I should check that out. I'm going to mm-hmm. check it's that out. It's not a freak show movie. It's just no, no, a good no. movie. It's just Top a good, It's just a movie. Uh, Michael Whitaker writes in and says about the building in uh, Detox, the actual Detox Center, which is set right. out in the wilds of Wyoming in the winter and looks like a Cobra base. Yeah. He mm-hmm. says it's both a rehab center and a zombie proof shelter. Mm hmm. True. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Very no true. time is getting into that. Well, Simon Carter writes in and he says, I have only just realized the irony uh, of me commenting on this movie while I'm drunk. <laughs> I had never realized that I'm totally guilty of drunk dialing you guys laugh out loud. Uh, but that just shows how much I love you all and the show. I appreciate you all and get so much enjoyment from listening. Uh, I think Colin should be, uh, when he does these, should be done. After he reads the drunk, <laughs> the drunk ones, it's just like, he passed out. And well, then tr- Colin is done. I figure yeah. if anybody else ever writes in while they're drunk, we're gonna, one of you guys has to do it. Because we're going to have to keep the voices. I'm Simon Carter. <laughs> oh, oh, that's fine. All right, I that's got fine. that one. If someone l- would like to admit, that's, very, that's great. That's yeah. very kind, though. I'm, it's, sure. it's very sweet that you think of us when you're drunk. Yes, so. thank you very much, sir. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank Rusty you. Ryan, who sent us the uh, oh, yeah. Vampire Lucy canvas. Oh, thank you. He says, I'm looking back at my recent recent video purchases and many of them correspond to movies that you've recently reviewed jennifer's oh, body blood yeah. rage fun house and a few others even if i had already seen it comments in your podcast send me back for a second look and i'm currently looking for a good copy of icu nice mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. he says nice. i also want to bring up a movie that to my knowledge you have not focused on yet evil speak with clint howard i just happened upon this while browsing the shout scream factory selection at my video store and holy shit this has suddenly become one of my favorite so bad it's good movies uh and he's saying that we should probably uh do it in the future so that is a good segue to tell you that right right now actually we're in the second week of this by the time you're listening to this we are taking suggestions oh shit everyone's favorite time of year that's right why are we taking suggestions colin because January is Listener Pick Month. Yeah, it is. Listener's Choice. Listener's what? Choice. What do you want us to watch and talk about? What is the one movie? They're like, why have they not talked about yes. this yet? What have we been doing yes. for many years? Yes. And we have not gotten around to the movie that you want to hear about. Tell what is that movie? movie? Please tell us. How is this going to work, Colin? So we have a post on well, I guess you got to go to fa- you got to find find us on Facebook. True, where we are. What's our address? Facebook dot com slash Night Freak Show. There you go. Uh, it's pinned to the top of our feed. Uh, submit your well. We're asking for just one selection this time from right, you everybody. Pick, pick, yeah, your, pick the your one you want. movie. You got to yep. pick one and put it on there in a comment, and then we're gonna switch it over to uh, uh, an actual poll at some point. Yes. Uh, we'll tell you about that. And then you go and you vote, we're vote on it. You'll have some time to vote, and the top four vote getters we're going to watch uh, the four weeks in, well, I guess there's five weeks. We're going to watch four of them in January. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. After That's our big year-end uh, review right. episode. That's your time, listener. Mm-hmm. Can they submit... Su- uh, we're doing the poll on Facebook. Can they submit suggestions on our other platforms? Yeah, you can. If you're listening to this yeah, and we'll you're following us on Twitter, yes. we yeah, will put on that in there. Okay. I'll, we'll put a, I'll put it something on our Instagram story where you can suggest right there. there so, yep. 
but our, but our voting will only be on Facebook. That's yes. right. We're already two weeks into this. Yes. yes. As you're listening to this. Sorry, we <laughs> didn't tell you about it last week. Before. Um, but <laughs> get your votes in there. Get what you want us to watch in there. What do you want us to talk about? Yes. And how long do they have to do this, Colin? Don't know. We don't know yet. A couple of weeks. Okay. <laughs> it could it's, be at the end of this week. I'm not right. sure. We're, we're, yeah, yeah, we have it all do mapped it. out somewhere. You got to do it now. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't wait. wait. You can't, do it now. You can't wait. If you wait, I'm sorry. It's not going to be a thing. <laughs> do it now. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so that brings us to the most exciting part of the show, which is when we go around the table and find out what we thought of tonight's movie, starting with Colin. Colin. Hey. Hey. <laughs> uh, what did you Send think? Send me by surprise there. Sorry. I know. I'm very sorry. I what didn't did you, expect wh- to be called on. What did you think about Don't Open Until Christmas? <clears throat> Four stars. <laughs> out, out of, wait, out, out of how many? Uh, wow. Out of ten or out of five? No, I'm gonna take that back. I mean, this right, movie yeah, don't, is... don't 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 <laughs> don't false flag this shit. Like, don't um go for it. Yeah. Uh was it fun? Kind of. It's not a good movie. This is a terrible movie. Um, it's not... Okay, so I'm still coming off the high that we had a couple of weeks ago with Blood Rage, which is kind of in the same vein. That's a slight... If you guys film. don't stop throwing that in my face, I I'm swear sorry. to God. I'm, I'm sorry. Gonna walk Holly, out. you was, missed uh, hey, a moment. Was, I'm not going to contain my love for that movie, <laughs> so... So good. So good. Uh, this is nowhere near Blood Rage, unfortunately. No. I think... Um, it's because, I mean, this is one it's of those. It's the Britishness of it. No, I don't even think. Well, that makes it more serious. Yeah, exactly. It um, does. Because that's what I was saying. When I am giving credit to the actors who are very serious and committed, even though like this movie goes off the rails uh, and from a, 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 a technical production side of it. Uh, Purdom, Edward, Edmund Purdom. <clears throat> uh there's a reason he only has one directorial credit Mm. Uh, because he shouldn't be anywhere near a camera or, you know, or it's the fact that the movie got pulled away from him. Yeah. And maybe somebody else put it together and maybe, I mean, it's just, it's kind of, it's not okay. So the movie I'm going back to is Spookies, right? You remember uh, Spookies? Spookies? Yeah, I do. Which I didn't give a good review to that one at the time, even though I think in hindsight I remember the good parts and go, sure. like, hey, you should see Spookies for the good parts I remember. But it had the same thing where there was like half a movie and then they shot another movie. Except those because were two different movies. It was literally they shot two movies yeah, and, and jammed them together. Yes. Yeah, but that's what this movie is. Yeah. Except the they have the same plot, right. but you lose some of the characters. Characters, you can't follow the narrative. I mean, it really is like a train wreck, you know. Um, on the other side, though, it's got uh, the the kills are like decent exploitation movie kills. The gore is um, amateurish at best, which almost adds to the uh, right. The, it's charming. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> almost better than it is. Yeah, I know. I don't know. I am like really on the fence with this because it's a bad movie. And if you're a bad movie aficionado, then, you know, I mean, you could go check this movie out. I don't I was never bored. That's uh, we said on plan. Nine that is the Space, biggest sin. That's the cardinal sin of uh, a bad movie mm-hmm. is that it's boring. And you just they're like, boring. I can't take this anymore. Care. And I want to hit the eject button. Uh this one was, I mean, because we were trying to figure, we were arguing, arguing. We were basically, it's him. No, it's him. It's him. And it's him. I, who? I don't even know who it is anymore. Who's the killer? It made us do that. Yeah. So, I mean, there's probably no rewatchability, but at least the first time through, I don't know. Am I going to actually recommend don't open <laughs> till Christmas? This movie's terrible. You have to see it. <laughs> there you go. Don't open till Christmas. Check it out. Holly, what'd you think? Well, I, I'm drunk. That's yeah, what's wrong. Yeah, you are drunk. I'm going to regret this tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I am not remotely on the fence about this movie. It was fucking hilarious. It's awful in the best ways. It Like you said, it's not boring at all. It's it's hilarious. It's so, so stupid. It's so ridiculous. Everything about it is bad. But it's wonderful. It's just so wonderful. I, I, I can't even express... The, the the gore is ridiculous. It's it's paint. We discussed that. It's just oh, awful. It's always pain. It's but like it is so yes, and it is so charming. I just I loved I, I loved watching this movie. It was so much fun. I yeah, you gotta watch it. You gotta. It's just it's so stupid. It's a terrible, terrible, terrible movie. But I feel like 
the people that listen to the show like that as much as we do. So obviously you got to watch it. John. Uh, uh, a charm is going to get you a long way. I think with um, with most of the uh, <coughs> viewers of the Saturday Night Freak Show. Um, uh, I was never bored with this movie. I had, uh, you know, it was, uh, I was entertained with it. And I think, I, uh, I really think we're all getting down to basics with this movie tonight. Um, we were never bored. It was charming. Um, it's not a good movie. We all recognize that. So, but it does something that is on the level of entertaining. And I think that really gives it, uh, an edge to a lot of movies we've watched tonight. So, um, you know, I had a good time and, you know, you're going to get to a point in the Christmas season where you've not seen, uh, or you, you've, you've run dry your supply of Christmas movies and you're gonna, you're going to get to this movie and I think you're going to have a good time with it because, you know, I think I did tonight. I really, I think I really did tonight. So I'm going to recommend don't open until Christmas because it's, it is, it's unique and it's something else. And, uh, it may be on the very base level of that, but you know what? That's good enough for me. So I recommend don't open until Christmas. Mm. There you go. Mm. Michaela. This movie really can't decide if it wants to be like a British drawing room mystery or a like eighties American slasher movie. And that's, <laughs> That's One a- of its biggest problems, if not its biggest problem. It has an identity crisis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I wish it would take itself less seriously and like be and lean more into that 80s American slasher. But like, as we've seen with Slaughter, I, that's just not how they do things. <laughs> and um, we're very, we're very buttoned up. We're very right. It's like, oh, the, the, oh, this murder. Okay. Yeah. Like murder. if I wanted to watch PBS yeah. fucking Midsummer Murders, <laughs> I'd watch that. You know what I'm saying? Like it's. It's it's such a weird dichotomy because like it, when you th- British like TV series like that don't have any gore and violence in them you know and then so to have that be one half of your movie and then have the other half be like this like you know eighties red paint blood slasher movie it's just really weird See, but that speaks to me <laughs> um, I I re- I wish it wasn't so amateur in a lot of its aspects but. I and like obviously in no situation where you have three directors is is it going to be completely clear <laughs> right, what the movie yeah. is? Um, there was like this movie never had a shot because there was never a singular vision once. Um, but and it's yeah it is really bad. But it the kills and like the f- there's actually a lot of kills in this movie. Is a pretty h- decently high they body very, count. There's a lot. They're very quick. yeah yeah. Um, but there's yeah. a lot. I mean, compared to some other movies we enjoy, you really think about the kill counts are pretty low on some stuff. But this one is pretty high. They're all different. They're all pretty unique and like creative, and I think the kills are enough to make it worth watching. So I would definitely recommend it. Yeah, there you go. For sure. I think that's, uh, that's right. it. We're all gonna wake up tomorrow and go, "What, <laughs> what the, the hell the fuck we do? Do we just recommend?" Yeah, I mean, yeah. I was like, "Yeah, we we recommended pieces. We recommend Blood Rage, and somehow we have recommended." This is not in the same league, <laughs> you know, but you know, no, but no. like I said, it's on the very like you can like, but movies. Colin, how yeah. many you movies can. do you see Santa, a guy in Santa suit gets dick chopped off, you know? Ah, uh, true. But that was something you had never one. seen before, there's right? Levels, there's levels. Yeah. And so yeah. it, it may be on the very lowest there level are, of it, but you know what? There are layers. You can enjoy things on the, on the yeah. lowest level of entertainment. There are layers to the different types of movies we like. Yeah, we're there fucking you. Shreks That's here, it. man. That's right. Well, I mean, that leaves basically Christmas Evil to be checked off the list at some point. Mm-hmm. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, next sure. week we're going to watch a movie <laughs> that's chosen by... That's chosen by Colin. Colin, what are we watching next week? It's not Christmas Eve. Oh, fuck. I know. I'm, I'm counter program. Really it would have been nice doing? if you just ended that sentence. <laughs> Set yourself up for that one. It would have been really nice if you were just like, and that's what I'm picking next week. I know. <laughs> I was really considering it. I, I've uh, seen it. You guys seen it? I no, have not seen nope. it. No. no yeah. You really it's should a, have picked it just for segue sake. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but it's <laughs> for segue sake, but it's a downer Christmas movie. That's true. Yeah. From what I hear. Yeah, it's like the... It's like a... The, it's the Christmas taxi driver. It right, yeah. Oh, I don't want to watch that. Yeah, no, it's just like you're not gonna know. you're not gonna have fun with it. Yeah, that's, yeah. let's not do that. What are we watching, but, uh, Colin? But Colin, what well, are we next watching? week we're gonna watch uh, one half of the most famous oh. horror double feature that has ever been put out there. Oh no! And that means next week we're watching the hippie horror movie. I drink. 
your blood. All right. Ooh, okay. All right. Mm-hmm. I eat okay. your skin. skin. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I drink mm-hmm. your blood. Oh, yeah, we're right. doing I Drink Your Blood next week cool. on the Saturday Night Freak Show. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark.